Hello Toastmaster and guests. Today, it's my honor to be here for my presentation about project number two in Hot Korean Toastmaster. Before telling my own story, I want to ask you a question. Looking at my t-shirt, can you guess what you talk about? KFC. And today, I will share with you three lessons. I learned from a charitable activity that I participated in at the beginning of the new year. Annually, I and my friends joined in a campaign called Voluntary Spring, in which we raised funds and then we organized some charitable activities for the poor and the unfortunate people. And this year, we bought three, uh, 100 kilograms of rice. 25 kilograms of sugar and fish shot, cooking oil, noodles, and then we sat together at a corner of our campus and we packed all these things into a small vessel for the poor and the, the unfortunate people with a hope that they will have a better tent holiday. And we also practiced singing some songs and prepared a play to perform for the children in a primary school. These things were very simple, were very easy to do, but they were very meaningful to me because this is the first time I did this thing in my life. And I figured out that every day I came to the university to learn something very complicated, very sophisticated. With a view to doing something very prominent in our life. But to do this thing, to make big changes in our life, we have to start with small changes. And all small changes stem from simple things that we can easily do in our life. And the connection between big changes, small changes, and simple things in our life are persistent and love. That's the first lesson I learned from this campaign. Another interesting thing I learned in this campaign is from the children. When we first came to the primary school, we were so surprised because they were very enthusiastic, over-enthusiastic. They were very excited for the campaign. They surrounded us, they ran around us, they screamed out, they smiled at us, and they asked us who we are. We were so surprised and it seemed to feel that I was welcomed like a cave of star on that day. <laughs> That's the first time I experienced that feeling. And from that moment, we figured out that we, we cannot be late anymore to make them extremely happy and excited on that day. And the first thing we did in that primary school is to organize some mini games for the children. And an image really impressed me on that day. Although the children were very excited, were very enthusiastic for the games, there were almost no chaos in that situation. They stood very patiently, waited for their turn, and played the game with all of their energy and uh, enthusiasm. It was quite different from the common scene we can very easily see online in the ticket box or in traffic chain. Most people try to break the order, try to break the room to do something that because they want to do something before other people. And the children on that day really reminded me one of the most important lessons I have to bear in my mind, the lesson of discipline. The last thing I want to share with you is also very interesting, and this is a thing that I will never forget, want to forget in my life. One day before the campaign, I told the leader that I wanted to sing a song which is closely related to the children. And I chose the song, Ngày Đầu Tiên Đi Học. <laughs> the first day when we come to school, and I am the person who opened the show on that day, and everything came out like this. Ngày đầu tiên đi học, children, approximately 600 children, sang with me. All the memory came back in my mind. I remember about the day when I first came to school. I also had the opportunity to listen to that song, but I didn't dare to sing the song because I was so shy. But on that day, all the children in the schoolyard 
sing, sing with me, sing with me, and I was so moved. I have no words to say to describe my feeling at that time. I just tried to sing by all of my heart. On that day, the children gave me great sources of inspiration and energy. And on that day, we gave out a lot of things. We gave out of energy, of time, of effort, money. But what we, we took back, we received from this person, were priceless and immeasurable. The sentimental energy. And the thing we received was not only from by the children, or the poor, or the unfortunate people, but it was the combination of love and sympathy between the receiver and the givers. And we only can feel this thing when we have the same heartbeat and we behave towards other people with love and sympathy. To sum up, what happened on that day really left me an unforgettable impression and I will never forget these memories in my life. It taught me three important lessons that I will always try to bear in my mind is the guiding lights. The first thing is, think very big, very prominent, but start very small. The second is discipline, and the last one is love. Thank you very much for your listening.